My great-grandparents were William and Georgiana Jasper, and William had been a slave on a plantation. He was freed in 1842 and was able to purchase 13 acres of land in 1860. We had black and white people living next door to each other and they noticed that some of the white students were able to go to schools whereas they, the freed slaves didn't have a place to go. The land was deeded to the uh, Mount Vernon School District, which now is Fairfax County. But the county did not provide anything, so the families actually had to build a building and they had to cut the lumber and bring it in, and that's why it took probably two or three years to get it built. Um, and they also had to arrange to get the teacher and they had to um, buy their own textbooks and, and furnish the school. There wasn't a lot of money, so it was difficult for, for families to provide for themselves, much less get the materials and the books and everything that were needed to start a school and keep it going. And the families knew each other and they visited with each other, so they knew the school was gonna be open. It was first through seventh grade, so if you were in walking distance, then you could come. Yes, we had a long walk. We had to go through a lot of various ways to get here. But it weren't in a shortcut, it was still the five mile one way. We just was happy to learn. And we just had to walk to get it. There was no other way. And our parents got us up very early to get dressed and pack our lunches and get on the road. <laughs> Like, I know we used to come in the, that door, and then we had this desk, you know, the desk that I had. We had the old stove. Yeah, one teacher that taught all the grades that was here. Everybody came in, went to D.C. And, and uh, whatever the teacher had gave us to do, um, that, that's what we sat there and did. I liked all of my teachers. They were very, very good. You know, I tried to learn from them and what they taught me. Today, Laurel Grove serves as a living legacy of what those families who started it uh, were all about. It shows the hardships that the families went through, the struggles. We're working with schools in Fairfax County. We, have, we actually have six lessons. Once they've gone through the lessons at their schools, then they come here for a visit. And that's usually a really eye-opener for them. They look around, there's no water fountain, there's no bathroom, there's no computers, and when we tell them what was overcome by the students who went here, then that acts as an incentive for them because if the students who went to Laurel Grove could come under those hard ways, they know that they can succeed. I really enjoyed being at Laurel Grove because I learned a lot and, it, and it was taught a lot. It was a very important part of my life. I loved to read and I loved math. My wife and me, that was, I really those those two. And uh, even today I read, try to read as much as I can. <laughs> and um, I try to keep up a little bit of math. <laughs> how to do it. <laughs> As a child, I took for granted, you know, what my parents went through. And can you imagine my great-great-grandfather or great-grandfather or whatever, what he went through. 
I don't think I could have done that. So they had to be really determined. They had a lot of hurdles. They had not only political hurdles, you know, voting rights, all kinds of things to face that we don't face right now. So I, I take a lot of pride in what they did. And they did it for me and my children. I just appreciate, you know, this school and I was glad that we, that we was, you know, to come here. It's important to, to have an education.